Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and today I have another video for Tonic Studios and this one is the designer's choice Chai Caddy box die set. So these are all the dies on the set here and as you can see they come on a sheet of acetate. They're inside a little folder that you can put into your ring binder and they come in the usual designer's choice envelope. So let's have a little look at these dies and then I'll, I'll get to making something with them. But just for now I want to say first of all there's a great set of instructions here. Now I haven't actually made this up yet but I've had a good look at these instructions and they do look pretty comprehensive. So it shows that this is the base for the cup here and then these are the side panels and you need to cut these out three times. So that's this one. And that will need to be cut out three times to go around the hexagon base. So there's two there, six sides, three times. It's, it's pretty straightforward so far anyhow. And then these are the decorative panels that you can add on to that. And little handles, whatnot, everything that goes on at the end. So again, I always like to have a look at these and see if there's anything else that I could be doing with these. Apart from making this tea caddy. And right away I can see that this circle here with the piece in the centre would make a lovely little buckle. We've got a beautiful triangle here, a layering one that could be used for all sorts of things. There's this shape here, I can't, it's a, what is it, it's a circle that's divided into three with another circle cut out in the centre. And that's looks to me like something very interesting to put on a card as well and we've got these pieces here that fit inside I'll just get that off <laughs> the glue is very very sticky on this one so so those actually fit inside here and while they're going to make lovely additions to this chai caddy I think really they're going to be very very useful for other cards as well and these little panels too so I'll go and look for some card and some paper and come back in a moment or two and show you what I think I'll going to make with that. In the meantime, if you don't subscribe to my channel, I'd love you to do that so that you can keep in touch with all these videos that I'm doing. I'm actually recording quite a few today and um, they'll be uploaded pretty soon, as soon as all these things are available. So you'll be able to see all those if you subscribe and thank you very much for doing that. And I also will add all my affiliate links down below too if you're interested in buying any of these sets. I'd appreciate it if you want to have a look at them and buy them through my links too. That won't cost you any more, but it does actually give me a little commission too. So thank you very, very much. So I'm back again with the card that I've chosen to use. And I've got Ginger Pie Classic Card Texture Weave and the Coffee Cream Pearlescent Card. And they're both from the Harvest Moon Trend. So if you just turn the sheet over that we were having a little look at with the instructions there, it will tell you on the other side exactly how many pieces of each die shape that you need to cut out. So I've done that already and I've got two of these as you can see. That's from this large hexagon. I've got two of the large triangles. That's that inner triangle there. This one. So we have two of those pieces. I have six of these. I've gone ahead and just folded. That's from this little piece here. Those are decorative. I may or may not use them at the end. I'm not too sure. Um, and then I have used this triangle die. As you can see it's shown here. What you do is you take this one. I'll move this over. Show you on a piece of white card here would be better I think. So when you place this into the die you can see where these corners go. And you just place that in and tape it down. Facing the other way around of course. Um, and that will cut out just show you the shape then that results from that one. Okay so you are going to need two of those. Here we are and then you're going to use this die along with the outer hexagon again. We don't need that one this time we need these two together and we use those twice and that will sorry four times and you're going to have four of these pieces then at the end of that as well. Now hold on to the piece that comes out of the centre because you're going to need those and that's them there so you'll have four of these as well. I've gone ahead and just shown up those 
score lines a wee bit better, the, the debossed ones, uh, because I'm adding some decorative panels on and I thought that I just wanted the guidelines a little clearer. So all I did was set that, kept it in this die cut and just went around the edges with my embossing tool. Hopefully you can see that there. It just shows it up a little more clearly. So we've got that and then as I, sh as I said earlier on you're going to cut out three of these and that will give you six panels all together and then just go ahead and um, fold back and burnish all those lines at the sides and the tabs at the ends and then we have another little die here the one that I mentioned in the introduction there this one that looks like a little buckle uh, this is actually a debossed line and not a center line at all but uh, you can make the buckle very easily by using this one twice on on the sides of it. I don't need it for for what I'm doing here, but I just want to show you this while I'm at it. So that's how it will turn out if you cut this out from both sides. Anyhow, for the purposes of what we're doing right now, we just need to cut this one out uh, six times, and that will look like this. So four of them are going to be flat, and four of them are going to be glued together to make a little handle at the top. Now, uh, I'll show you that there. So. Those go together like, let's see if I can get the angle of that right to show you, like that. And that will be the little handle. So again, when we turn this over, you can see that we're going to need this one for the base. We're going to glue this all around the outsides of that. And then we'll come back and make the lid. But just at this point would be the easiest. You can add your decorative details on after, but while it's all flat and before it's assembled, I think it's probably the easiest time to add on the little decorative details. So I'll show you what I've done here. I've taken this little rectangle die and I have taken this one. I've taped both of those together and I've used the coffee cream card and I've cut that out six times. So that's for my these six sides here and I'm going to go ahead and glue those on and then I have used this outside die along with the one which I felt matched that best that's this one that this matches here and I have cut that out three times now this doesn't actually fit inside there when you're die cutting so you do need to cut this first and then add the detail in secondly and you'll get three of these and that's where I'm going to use on top of the part that um, I just reinforced those lines so that I could see it more clearly. And I'm going to glue those on there. And then I'll follow these instructions. They're very, very clear. And I'll go ahead and speed this up and show you how it all comes together.
I added an extra little piece on there. I only had one piece on and I've added the extra piece on. And some little crystal gems all around the top, I think. Yeah, you can catch them there, yeah. And then one larger one around the centre there as well, the whole way around. And then I took some of the new Crafters Ribbon. This is Ivory White Double Satin and it's 3mm. That's new from Tonic. And I've added two little bands of that. One around the top and one around the bottom there. And that turned out really well. So there you are. That's the first one. Now I've gone ahead and made a second one. And this one is made of the gold mirror card. It's Harvest Gold high gloss mirror card for the base and then I've used some of the paper from the little 6x6 paper pad from the Harvest Moon Trend. It's actually, I'll just show you up here, that's this little pad and I have cut out the plain dies this time and edged each one the whole way around with that and I really like that buckle idea that I showed you in the first part of the video. So I made that with gold and I've attached it on here with some of my own gold ribbon around the outside there. I think that turned out really well and again I have put I've actually just used a slightly different top on it this time you can see there with the little top on it you could add something else on. I didn't really want to add any more ribbon on because I thought this was enough and when I looked at it then I thought I'll just leave it the way it is. So that's another idea. Nice little gold. The gold's really beautiful it shows that off really well. So we've got those two and then I have another one that will be on my blog and on the Tonic blog. So I'll not be showing you how I made it here, but if you go over to those blogs, I'll, I'll write the link, add the link on down below. So that's this one. And that's made with, I think it's Welsh gold, glitter card, and then some black. And then I've put white gloss crystal drops on the top just to finish that one off. And I'm really pleased with the way those three have turned out. So. I hope you like them too and uh, I hope to see you again soon. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.